Logano three wide into three, oh, top no. to bottom, and there they go. And everybody missed Johnson. And I don't think even the 22 got very substantial uh, damage to his car. I, I'm not sure if anybody made contact with anybody, but that was an incredible job by all those guys to miss that. This is in the Joey, front of the field. Joey Logano's run started back between turns one and two. And he had incredible speed, went top to bottom to top again, and then got involved in all this. First, let's see what happens to the 48. Oh, the 11 goes to the inside. They make contact. Yep. Very similar to what we saw in the All-Star race. I think it was with the 17, the 78. That turns Jimmy Johnson around. Boy, the 20 was just trying to get slowed down was on the rear bumper of the of Logano in the 22 and that's what turned him around that's amazing let's watch from Denny Hamlin Jimmy making that they were racing for fifth let's go back to 14th here's Logano off turn two Flying around Chris Buescher, Elliott up to block, Logano goes to the bottom, under Ricky Stenhouse, three wide into the corner, and then trouble. That's that one time when you didn't want to get that good of a run. Boy, that was so close to disaster for both of those drivers. Wow. Want to ride with Joey? Great job to TJ Majors. That Ooh. was Dale Jr.'s uh, spotter, and now Joey Logano's this year. Yep, many people think he's the best guy on the, in the business, TJ Majors. Logano did get a little damage. Now look, he's going to miss Johnson. He's going to swerve again to the right and miss him. Look how he stood but Jones on the just caught him. I think the 20 saved him. I think it shot him up the hill just enough that he was able to get around the 48. 